Welcome back to my series Best in LMS. This is the second installment, so there's a first video you can check out. I'll basically go over some old project files of mine and explain to people how I did the music in LMS, right? It's not quite easy to understand how to really make music and how to understand the basic parts, and I'll try to help you understand that. So, first things first, the most important part of any beat is the main instrument and the main melody, right? So let's check this out. Um, this is not just the base LMS. You have to download some things to rec uh, like produce what I did, but everything is free that I use, right? So um, this is a plugin called SQADL. You can download that for free on the internet. And I use the A13, which is nice lead, right? Uh, as my main instrument. You basically just try out different types of instruments till you find something you really like and then try to make a melody out of this. Now, this is the main melody that we got, or like the main thing going over the uh, going on for the whole beat. This is a bit uh, messy for some of you, maybe. So I prepared something right here. Um, basically, the melody. This is the same melody that we just had. I just. Uh, separated the three melodies that I had like stacked on top of each other so the f this these four f uh, these first uh, five bars are uh, basically the melody that keeps stuck in your head I can show you how the whole thing sounds wait a second Exactly. So the main melody there is this. The second melody, which is basically the counter melody, is this. Right? And an important thing that I made, I'm gonna point this out in a second. Every single uh oops every single note is in uh harmony with the main melody right so this is basically almost in harmony uh this is just the same same harmony as this one this goes down the same way so these three are just the same thing but toned down a bit um here it's actually just 13 semitones, so a bit more than an octave, giving like a bit of an interesting effect. And what this leads to, like the way I've done this, is that this note right here really stands out, because it's alone, right? You can listen for that. That gives a kind of like an hypnotic kind of thing. Um, and at the end I break that up. So that doesn't happen anymore, and then they, you have like this note where nothing happens. Um, these are basically the two melodies that drive the whole thing. <laughs> kind of hypnotic, right? And then there's uh, basically a bass. I like to use 808s and basses uh, for like the most part. I I use like just a low note. And then for the hooks, I use um, 808s. So this is how the whole thing sounds then. And once you got this done, you have like 70% of the beat. So this is basically just the, the first melody that we know. With a guitar plugin. You, you can see here how it's, uh, how it's uh, called. I downloaded it for free as well. And on there, there is a free plugin as well, like actually two free plugins. This one is standard in LMMS. This one is tall dub. Uh, this basically leads to the to the echo kind of thing, like right. This is tall dub. I really like it, so you should definitely get that. And chorus is just it makes it sound more distant, more eerie kind of. 
which I really liked for this beat. That's why I chose it. The second, the the third one is a piano plugin. The, uh, playing the the counter melody, and there's also the dub on there. There's also the chorus on there. There's also the same reverb. So these two are basically the same. And what happens here at the beginning? This these two do nothing, by the way. Um, this one. This basically sets the the low pass filter. If you don't know what a low pass filter is, basically it removes the lower frequencies uh, or or like it, it it removes the higher frequencies. Yeah. And so at the beginning we have these. And uh, slowly I cut up this whole thing. So at the beginning we hear nothing of that basically. And the more the, these first five bars go on, the more you hear. And that this is what causes this. Like kind of uprising. Which makes you kind of excited for the beat. does some change for the beat obviously now this stays the same till 21 uh, bars and then we have the drums these are all from the same drum kit that I downloaded uh, I don't know where I got it but you can find a similar drum kit anywhere or even this one so the drum pattern here to make it a bit simpler I will duplicate that and show you how this is comprised so basically this is the entire drum pattern we have uh, a kick and then right before the snare hit there's another kick so so and what I did is I used another snare to make it sound more interesting and at the end, I just let the, sec the second snare hit again. Um, these perks, I like to use them for... Like, they don't sound good in this, I think. But in the whole uh, concept, it really gives the listener some more to explore once they've heard the beat a few times. Uh, this is something you have to keep in mind uh, when uh, making beats. Uh, very important. And... At the second bar, there's not much changing really, right? It's just this uh, second snare, for example, isn't there. And uh, this first snare is there. So this, t -t -t -t. yeah, I, I think you heard it, right? This is why I had two bars. comes the 808 the 808 is a very difficult part first of all you have to tune it so you have to understand which uh this sample that i have which key or like which note that is and put this square up here to the note that it is for example this is a d so i have to put this over the d now um the 808 pattern i chose is in the same rhythm that my kicks are in And this makes for a very kind of coherent sound. It just makes more. So this is the hook, basically. And then we go back. Something I did here is I uh, to have more sound in the hook, which I like to do. There's also the contrary approach where you do less in the hook, but then you have to have a good artist to get over it, right? So, I gave uh, this, this, 
the same melody that I chose for my main uh, synth, right? And now this just goes back to what I had before. Now with the bass in place, it sounds very catchy. At the end here, there's one piano thing missing. Kind of builds tension. And then there's another hook. I fade out the main instrument basically So this is the entire beat basically and now I'll play the entire thing. Thank you for watching. Uh, there's a first installment of the series already out if you want to check that out. Um, I, will, I look forward to making more of these in the future so maybe you can subscribe. Also if you're just looking to make some beats for the rapping you do. Um, I have a ton of free for profit type beats on this channel that you can use uh, as long as you credit me. No problem. And... Uh, if you want to collab, just hit me up. Uh, nice to see you. Hope I see you again. Goodbye.